The old woman lived all alone in the heart of the forest. She was a strange bird, that one. told me someone was coming. So, why are you here? Juno sent me. Juno? I haven't talked to her since she went and moved into that human cage they call it now. I can't imagine what business she'd have with me. What's this about? Need some intel on the Ruiner. Rose is trying to hatch it. Of course she is. The fool. This way. Come on now. I'll tell you what I know. But I need your help with something. The Ruiner. <laughs> Company always loves dramatic names. Interitus Retina was designed as the apex of bioengineered weapons. Company scrapped the project when they realized it couldn't be controlled. There's a piece of raw core over there. Grab it for me. I used to work for the company, you know. The Dominus Project. That was mine. Good, good. Now, bring it here. Just give me a moment to work. You see, I believe I found a way to temporarily charm hostile creatures, and even humans. <laughs> The Mentus Dominion, or Mentonets, to keep it simple, are unique species of parasitic bugs which, when exposed to infused core, can seize the minds of their victims. In theory, anyway. Now for the final step. Ooh, this is exciting. There. Infused core. Quite a bit more potent than its raw form. Oh. This way. Come on now. Now, add a small piece of the infused core to each of the Mentonat's breeding containers. There are only a few left that still need it. I've already taken care of the others. If my experiment is successful, You'll be able to temporarily turn enemies into allies. Meaning you just might survive this place. And sure, Rose may have passed through here safely, but she has. 
her own methods. Ah, uh, just look at them. Fascinating. work for us. Go on, I'll give you the honor. Release the men to Nats, and we'll see if the experiment was a success. Before we can call the experiment a success, we must try this on a live specimen. This way. Rambunctious beasts, aren't they? We can change that, yes indeed. Damage the traitor we'd plant to see the results of our efforts. The Menta Nats will then seek a new host, thus taming the belly. I'll be in here taking notes. Success! You didn't doubt me, did you? Ha ha ha, the joy of discovery still thrills my heart. Wait, you hear that? The wild bellocks, they're coming. They don't like seeing one of their kind dominate this way. Ah! The bugs, the bugs, don't forget the bugs. them against each other. Manta Nats will help keep you safe. Well, safer at any rate. Now come, I'll show you the way to Rose. As I said, Rose went to the mines to load up a train full of core. With enough, she may succeed in hatching the room. That cannot happen. You must stop her. This is as far as I go. Farewell, gunslinger. Everyone on this backwater rock knew about Oletta. 
Some said she was the one who told Rose about the ruiner. And again, some folks are liars. I should know. Symmetrified wounds? Looks to me like the Hydragoyans work. Do us all the kindness and relieve the beast of its hide, would you? There was a valve that controlled the flow of core out from the mine. Vault Hunter figured they'd try to stop it at the source. I was thirsty for a turn. Jammed. Rose must have seen that coming and locked down the controls. So the Vault Hunter took to some righteous destruction, as was their want.
What are you doing here, Townie? <laughs> Sheriff said my itty bitty Bella was too dangerous to. I think she'll be okay. I need to know she's gonna be okay. Oh, I'll keep an eye on her. But only if you quit with all the crying. I can't stand a weepy man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'll be okay. Uh, I should really be heading back to town, though. It's getting dark. You do know the Bellics become more aggressive in the moonlight, don't you? Huh. Well, damn. Don't you know anything? Ugh. Now look, I don't usually extend this kind of hospitality, but I think you'd better stay the night at my place if you want to make it back to town in one piece. Oh. Okay. Do you have, like... A guest bed or something? Nope. I'll get out of here. A while back, I found a wounded Bellic mewling on the edge of town. I just didn't have it in me to leave it to suffering. Bella was my best friend. Until Sheriff said she was too dangerous. So I let her loose in the forest. Hardest day of my life. Now that Sheriff's gone, though, I'd love to get her back. That old crone Oletta should know where Bella's at. Oletta, come in. You got any intel on Titus's pet, Bella? Of course I in for Grotto. I've got some foraging to do, so I'll take you to Bella's den. Try and keep up. Well? Don't keep me waiting. Oh, there you are. You ready to find Bella? It was a real sorry sight the day Titus came to release Bella. Waterworks like you wouldn't believe. That boy's got a soft spot in him. Too soft for Gehenna, anyway. I saw how he doted on her, and, well, I can't say it wasn't endearing. As it turned out, Oletta wasn't all hard edges after all. Imagine that. Now, Bella's been a wild thing for a time now. Who's to say she even wants to return, but that's up to her. If she gets a whiff of time, it'll jog her memory. And I've got just the thing, a pair of Titus's trousers. Don't ask. Oh, but I really want to. There are some mysteries we ain't meant to know. You'll need to draw Bella out of her lair. Get some prime devil meat as a lure. There are some feisty devils that dwell in the cave system up ahead. Magnificent specimens. Butcher them for some grade A devil steaks. Careful, though. Some are radioactive as nuclear waste, and the others are coursing with electricity. Take your pick, because Bella ain't exactly picky. Bella was a runt when Titus set her loose. I didn't think she'd last a day, but now she's made of herself a matriarch. The girl's got some fight in her, no question. We'll see how she reacts to you. No promises.
Waste it and paste it. Radioactive meat didn't look too appetizing to the Vault Hunter, but what did they know about the Bellic's diet? <clears throat> the Vault Hunter knew what to do. It was time to draw Bella out of her lair. They laid out the bait, looking to lure out little Bella. But Bella weren't so itty-bitty no more. Vault Hunter watched, hoping this would work. And what do you know? She took the bait. Now, Bella seemed friendly enough, but would she take to Titus' scent after all these years? Vault Hunter placed the pants on the ground. Titus's pants smelled like dreams deferred and a yearning for something lost. Also, days old hotcakes for some reason. Looks like she missed Titus as much as he missed her. But the local Bellocks didn't take too kindly to their matriarch turning her back on them like that. Wait, I lost count. The beast seemed like she was following a scent on the breeze. Hell of a nose on those bellocks. Vault Hunter tailed her to make sure she made it. There's someone back in town who misses you. You remember Titus, don't you? Wait! You have another pair of Titus's pants? This just keeps getting weirder. Hey, I said don't ask, didn't I? You ready to go, girl? Can that thing really understand you? Let's just say it's part of my charm. At any rate, I'm sure Titus will appreciate what you've done. I'll pick up the reward from Titus when I get into town. Here's your cut. Let's go, Bella. You haven't forgotten your way back to town, have you? Oh, come on. I'll show you. Time for a scrap. Salutations! You've got the spark of a refined cinematic palette. 
You look like you know movies, is what I'm saying. And friend, there's no movie worth knowing like my movie. Trouble is, all the reels are lost. But if you've got a hankering for truth, then you'll find my reels and I'll play them at my theater. If you've got a yearning for cinematic excellence, keep an eye out for one of my reels nearby. The company may have ruined this planet, but at least I got a movie out of the deal. This here's a tour de force, a triumph. Why, you might even say it's my masterpiece. Once this beauty hits the silver screen and I get one of those shiny little statuettes, everyone in the six galaxies is gonna say, Katsuhiro Jones, now that guy can make a movie. Pick the wrong fight. Vault Hunter decided to go spelunking through the core mines, looking for explosives. The company wasn't all scientists in suits. A lot of folk worked these mines back in the day. Work paid well for what it was. Still, plenty who went down into Gehenna's heart never came back up in the sky. Get over here, dickweed! Smack to death! 